Technology who writes, Hi doctors, I recently went to the ER for severe abdominal pain. My belly was all bloated out, making me look like I was pregnant. They said I had had an obstruction that may have been caused by my past C-sections. Can you explain this? Well, obviously, you have an orifice that food and air comes in, and you have one that goes out. When things get obstructed and it can't come out, all that air and stool builds up. If you have a history of surgeries that can cause adhesions, tumors, these can all cause a very big belly that has nothing to do with fat. Adhesions are a great example. Previous abdominal surgeries, usually your intestines, they have a nice coating on the outside. They just slither together without a problem. But with adhesions, your bowel is more likely to, to develop these little kinks. And with kinks, you can get obstruction and the, the, the air and fluids in your bowels cannot move through. And what might that look like? If you come into the emergency department, I'm gonna notice a very hard, bloated abdomen. And what you're seeing here, if I may, these are actually really big, diluted loops of bowel. You see that? A lot larger than it should be. So, that's not the only cause, however, because you could have adhesions, but another big cause to be wary of is, believe it or not, tumors. Tumors in the abdomen can actually cause obstructions in and of their own right. They can cause twisting of the bowel. And you can see here how that'd be no problem, right? For air to get through this nice, healthy bowel. Do you see the problem here? Where are you gonna go? You got this massive tumor obstructing your intestines. You get all that air, because you're still making gas. You still have all that bacteria in your gut making gas. You're still making stool. It has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go at all except out. And as you can see, the, the longer you wait, the more dangerous that this can become. The only way without surgery or time, you know, oftentimes we'll put what's called a nasogastric tube in. We'll relieve that pressure from up above. Sometimes people will come into the ER and they're literally vomiting stool out of their mouth.